girlfriend. Plopping is one of my favorite ways to dry hair because it's quick, it's easy, and it's hands-free. My name is Tandra File, and my mission is to take you from frizzy and frustrated to curly and confident. If you're wondering how to get your hair ready to plop, this video is for you. Come along for the ride. Subscribe to my channel by hitting that button in the corner of this video. Now first, I have freshly washed hair, and I'm going to go to the bathtub to apply the conditioner. This is my super nourish oil cream conditioner that I cannot live without. I love it. Now I get about a quarter size of this conditioner into my palms and I'm gonna finger comb that through. I wanna get it all the way around my head and then when it's, once I finger combed it in, I'm gonna grab my Denman brush and I'm gonna use that to make sure I don't have any tangles to start with and this also evenly distributes the product through my hair which reduces frizz. Next, I'm going to cup my hands with water and I'm going to squish out the conditioner by cupping the water into my hands, bringing my curls up towards my scalp and squishing out the conditioner with the water. I'm gonna repeat this all the way around my head. Rinsing out my conditioner like this allows me to super saturate my cuticle with water at the same time I'm applying the conditioner. I'm literally squishing in the conditioned water mixture into my cuticle and that really gives me a beautiful shine when I'm doing my hair. Now once I have uh, rinsed all the conditioner out, I'm going to turn off the water and keep squishing all the excess water out of my hair until it's mostly done dripping. What that's gonna do is get a good moisture balance into my hair shaft. Now I'm going to apply my stylers. Now I like to have soft, touchable hair. I don't like any crunchy hair. I don't like it to be limp. I like it to have body. I like it to have volume and I like it to hold its shape without having frizz. So the first thing that I'm going to use is three drops of my Rejuvenique oil on the mid shaft to ends. This helps to retain the moisture that I just put into my hair by putting up an oil barrier. Then I'm going to apply this Inner Force Restructuring Serum. This serum was actually designed for damaged hair, specifically color damaged hair. But what I have found is that curly hair has a lot of inner stress in it because of the coil. The shape of the hair follicle and the strands that come out of that cause it to have some inner stresses. And this serum is amazing for curly hair. This is one of the products that I use every day. Then I'm gonna use my secret weapon, this flexible hold gel. It has a plant-based alternative to silicone in it, which makes it anti-humidity, and it's amazing for curly hair. I'm going to emulsify it well in my hands and then use praying hands to apply it all the way around my scalp, and then I'm going to scrunch that in just to make sure that I have good coverage and squeeze out any excess water before I plop. So I wanna know, do you form curl clumps before you plop? I would love to hear in the comments how many of you take the time to form curl clumps before plopping, and if you do, have you noticed a difference in your end result? Okay, now the products are in. Now you are ready to grab your t-shirt, lay it down on the countertop or the bed, and you're going to gently lower your hair down into the shirt. Now the goal is to get those curl clumps to accordion style themselves up eventually into a pile on the top of your head. So you're gently lowering your hair down into the t-shirt, then fold the bottom of the edge of the t-shirt up, lay it on your forehead like a headband, then fold the shirt up over your head, grab the sleeves, pull them around to the front to tie. The goal is to get the knot right here in the center of your forehead. You don't want weight pushing your curls down and you don't want to knot at the back of your head if you're trying to sleep. So sticking it right in your forehead allows you to get a good mix of tightness around your head without putting pressure on those curls. And that's it. Now you know how to apply those products and form curls before you plop. You might be wondering what products will give you the best results for your hair type. If so, I invite you to take my custom hair quiz. The link is in the description and I would be happy to make you some recommendations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and share with your curl friends. If you're looking for more curly hair tips, please check out these other videos and come say hi on social. We are building a community of like-minded individuals who are building beautiful lives together and we would love for you to be a part of it. The link is in the description and we will see you on the inside.